Station that the package bombs are expanding anywhere beyond Austin, but you know, there's always that question in the back of our minds. Can it happen here? Of course, it can happen anywhere, but it's best to stay well informed. That's why Dr. Brad Hoffman is here to tell us what should we do if we personally get, you know, a suspicious package or anything of that nature. Well, you know, it's very tempting. A package comes at your door. You're curious. You want to open it, but that's right. Incidents like the one in Austin can happen anywhere. The question is, how can we prevent them from happening? I think you're all set. I think that's all we need. Gail Thomas owns the postal annex on Staples just off Saratoga. She sees letters, packages and boxes come through her business on a daily basis. And although there's only a small chance someone will receive a dangerous package, she says there are warning signs to look out for. First thing you want to know is if you didn't order something, if you're not expecting anything, you should be concerned. The other option is if it uh, doesn't look like it went through the mail if there's no damage on the box. If it looks like a brand new box that someone just set there, it probably wasn't sent through a carrier. Another warning sign is a return label. It has to have a return address on it. So if I'm looking at a box right on my doorstep yes. and it's addressed to me, but it doesn't have a return address, do not open it. I would recommend not opening it because it should not be shipped without a return address on it. Another sign may be the kind of vehicle the person delivering the package pulled up in. The carriers will have a marked vehicle. Uh, during the holidays, you may see a van, but it will have some kind of markings on it. So that would definitely be a, a big warning sign. This mirrors a tweet sent out by CCPD. If you receive a suspicious package that doesn't look right, the police department's advice is do not open it and call the police immediately. Some pretty good advice. Now, if a suspicious package comes to your door once again, just call the police. Do not open or move it. Dr. Brad Hoffman, Action 10 News. Great stuff, Dr. Brad. Thank you. Well, here in Corpus Christi, an undercover drug operation leads to a police chase and a police canine.